Hi guys, this is going to be a review on the Givenchy Phenomenize Mascara. And this is according to Sephora, you can only buy this product at Sephora. A revolutionary new mascara designed to grip at lashes starting at the roots. What it does. Givenchy Phenomenize Mascara perfectly curls and separates lashes. It has a high-tech patented round sphere at the tip of of the precision one that reaches every lash and adapts to all eye shapes. It's just a four exclusive. The result, a beautifully fanned out panoramic effect holding the curve of your lashes perfectly in place. <sighs> this is the box it comes in. It's a plain black box. I kept that specifically to do show this video. And it comes with directions. And you're like, why does mascara need to come with directions, you know? Mascara is easy to put on. I'll show you when I open this up why you might need directions. This is what the tube looks like. It's 0.24 ounces or 7 grams. Yes. And this is in black. All they have right now is black. They have a brown that's coming soon, which I'll probably buy. But let me show you this. It's a little bit tough to get out. Look at that. That's the wand. Can you see that? It looks like one of those medieval torture devices, the thing, like the spiky ball. So this resale, blah, 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 retails for $27, only at Sephora. Um, and I was really skeptical about this product. I have a ton. I own a ton of mascara. I have very high-end, like, Dior show. And I have um, lower-end, like, you know, Lash Blast and drugstore brands. So I decided I'd buy this and give it a shot. And I'm so glad that I did because I think this trumps Dior show. It's a great mascara and it might be a little intimidating because obviously it has that ball at the end but it's really neat because you work from your out in dig it I'm not gonna do this because I have mascara on now but you start out here and you just work your way through and as soon as I put it on it made my lashes appear like two times longer than they normally are and I like it because it really gets into the corner. Like these lashes here that normally don't get as curled and your inner lashes get very curled because you can get the ball in there to, you know, get all the mascara. So, um, great product. I love it. The only bad thing I have to say about it is the price is a little steep. It's $27, which I think Dior Show is like $24. I want to say so it's expensive, but... It's not like, for example, you could replace Dior Show with Lash Blast. Like, you can change those, but with this one, because of the the wand, there's really no mascara out there comparable. So if you want to try it, unfortunately, you do have to shell out $27. But in my opinion, it's totally worth it. I love it. I think it's great mascara. Um, another con to it is it's not very good for bottom lashes. It makes them look nice, but it's too... The ball... Just because of how close your bottom lashes are to your skin and your under eye, it tends to be really messy and it leaves it gives me major raccoon eyes just from putting it on. So I wouldn't recommend it for bottom lashes. I'd use um, just a regular mascara, a small wand mascara for bottom lashes. But other than that, I mean, it does a great job. This comes, I think I already said this, but currently they only have it in black. They will make it, it is coming in brown, but it's not available yet. And this is only at Sephora. This is only a Sephora product, so you have to buy it from Sephora. But like I said, and what's nice about Sephora is you can do ratings. And the number one rating for this is volumizing, which I agree. It makes your lashes look like you're wearing false lashes. So overall, it's a great product. It's called Givenchy Phenomenize Mascara. Retails for $27, so it slips it down. And it's at Sephora. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. And I will talk to you guys later.